topic. Whose job is it to fact check the candidates? The executive director of the Commission on Presidential Debate says it's not the moderator's responsibility. I think personally, if you start getting into fact checking, I'm not sure what is a big fact, what's a little fact. I don't think it's a good idea to get the moderator into essentially serving as the Encyclopedia Britannica. Back with my panel now, Douglas Brinkley, uh, whose responsibility is it if some uh, one of the candidates tells a whopper? I think it's up to the candidates. I think the moderator can only do so much. Um, yes, Candy Crowley famously intervened, you know, on a debate uh, of a former cycle ago. But really, Hillary Clinton's going to have to call Donald Trump out, and Trump's going to have to call Clinton out on mistakes. Um, I think in the case of Hillary Clinton, she's got to watch that she doesn't keep going, that's not true, that's not true, that's not true. You become schoolmarsh if you're doing that like you're correcting uh, papers all the time. So she might say, tomorrow I'm going to post all your misstatements and kind of get around it in a blanket way. And Trump's going to really try to tangle her up in being lawyerly, uh, particularly with that email uh, scandal that she's had. There you go again. That's yeah. all you need, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. There you go again. Yeah. Soft, yeah. there you go again. Yeah. Well, what, what, do you, what do you think, Mr. Mayor? Do you think, I think it's a three-way responsibility. The candidates will on their own, and they have to decide how they want to do that, as, as you said earlier. But, I mean, the moderator as was said earlier I mean so I mean do so much well do something I mean there are big facts little facts and then there are lies if it's just blatantly false it's known public information you have to call the person on so all three in my view have a responsibility you just can't let somebody run up there and say whatever they want and leave it to the public to go you know go on Google on the on the break and there are no breaks so what are you talking about Tim I mean in the past it has happened that for instance when Gerald Ford infamously said that that Poland was not under uh, yes. Soviet rule the the person asking the question kind of like tried to get him to like are you sure about that okay. That's why I think that the moderator shouldn't fact check, but should ask follow-ups and be certain that the question is answered and that the candidate's answer is clear. So I think the moderator plays a role, but it's not to be a fact checker. That's the role of all of us and of the other candidate. All right, Jeffrey. Uh, you, you know, who was telling the truth to, to, to take off from the mayor's suggestion here? Let me just give you a recent incident here, the, the whole birther situation. The entire media was saying it was not true that the Clinton campaign was connected to her. I can just tell you, I heard from lots and lots of people out there who were sending me chapter and verse, and, uh, you know, that, that it was so. My point is that the, what, the yeah. moment... Well, what he the said moment was he, Hillary Clinton started it. Right. Hillary Clinton and her campaign started it. I ended I it. it. Right. That's not true. That's not true. Right. Sidney Blumenthal is a Clinton ally. Right? Not on the campaign. Well, right. Jake, 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 it's, you know, see, this is what I'm saying. This is what. But it's get, a fact. This, it, right. it is a fact that he is a total ally of hers, and you read these emails, and they're buddy buddy all the time. The accusation That's a was fact. that the campaign that, wait, did wait, it. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't want to say. The accusation was well, that Hillary I'm trying to illustrate did it. I'm trying to illustrate something. But the truth is, wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jeffrey, the larger point about birtherism, it was started in 2004 by this person in Chicago named Andy Martin, and that's how it actually started, right. just FYI. I, I'm, not, I'm not talking about birtherism per se here. What I'm trying to illustrate is the moment a moderator gets into that, you are going to have people all over the country forget the issue. Go, you know, saying, well, this and is then true. And, and then, Mary Catherine, then it becomes about the moderator. It's well, yeah, right. I think that, that conversation is actually an illustration of yeah. right. like why it's such a blunder to get into every single right. issue. One of Donald Trump's strange strengths is that when there are quite a few of these things coming at the moderator, breaking it up for each one of them does not work. It's a sa it's a challenge for Hillary Clinton as well. Not that he won't have his own challenges coming at each one of her misstatements, and there will be plenty. Right. Um, but I think that's one of his strengths, actually, is to sort of like blast them, and then you can't correct every one of them, and a moderator yeah. will get really bog bogged down. Jake, we're going to uh, give someone the highest, most powerful office in the world. What we need to see tonight is how they respond on their own when un the unexpected comes up, when somebody throws something in your face, when they try to pull a fast one on you. We need to, if, if you're going to go into in, in an Oval Office with Putin, you damn well be able, be able to handle the other So they don't need the help of Lester Holt is the point you're making. I, I, yeah. I think he can be the lion tamer. I think he can sort of keep him down right. from shouting too much. But this is about the candidates, right. not about the moderators. Exactly. The two best moderators we've had, in my judgment, in recent years, have been Jim Lehrer and Tom Brokaw, and they both come down strongly on the side. It's a, it's a, the moderator is a facilitator, not a fact checker. And yet, Kirsten, there does exist such a thing as empirical fact. 
There does, and I, I actually I, I think that the Trump campaign has actually done a pretty good job of sort of suggesting that you know Lester holds out to get them, and the media is not going to be fair to them. They also call them a Democrat and, when he's yeah, not. Yeah, he's Democrat and he's not okay. a Republican. <laughs> and then I also think to a certain extent the media is kind of buying into this idea that she's going to be this school marm by fact checking him. And the, and the truth is, if he is standing up there, we, again we want to talk about empirical facts. The New York Times just did looked at one week of him and found 31 things that he said were, that were empirically false. 31 things in one week. So if that's what he's going to do, like what Mary Catherine is saying, just throwing stuff at the wall that are not correct, and Hillary Clinton, Clinton corrects him, I just hope that people in the media aren't going to try to cast her as some sort of, you know, Tracy Flick, know-it-all, uh, you know, <laughs> which, which I think is kind of the setup, because you can't just stand there when somebody's saying things that aren't true. Great movie, elections. Everybody